just being in high school and seeing a lot of friends struggle with substance use and depression and anxiety, that was really impactful for me. And I knew when I started looking into research that I wanted to do research on the brain and see how these conditions might develop and what consequences these things have for the brain. My name is Avery Sicker. I am a graduate student in the neuroscience program here at the Huck Institutes. I'm really interested in brain development and specifically how circuits in the brain with different neurons kind of come together and form during early life and adolescence. And then also how things like exposure to alcohol can interfere with that circuit development. There's one group of neurons that produces something called somatostatin. We have a previously published paper looking at the effects of adult drinking on these somatostatin neurons. And we found that binge drinking in adulthood causes these somatostatin neurons to function improperly. If the somatostatin inhibitory neurons aren't functioning properly, that can cause the excitatory neurons to not have this inhibitory break on them. That can cause them to fire more, which totally dysregulates this important circuit and this really critical balance in the brain. Our lab uses this technique called patch clamp electrophysiology and we can record the electrical activity from inside of a single cell. It's a very versatile technique. We can do a lot of different things to give us a really good idea of what's going on in this cell at any given point. I am a big Philadelphia sports fan, so I like going to Phillies and Flyers and Eagles and Sixers games and watching those up here. The people in my lab would say that is like 90% of what I talk about is Philadelphia sports. The research that I'm doing now has a lot of potential implications for other research into neuropsychiatric illnesses as well as substance use disorders. And my hope is that the research I have looking at how the adolescent brain develops and how that's affected by alcohol will lead to better therapeutic treatments down the line for things like alcohol use disorder as well as major depression and anxiety disorders. Penn State really has a commitment to supporting research in their grad students.